Welcome guys, today in this video I am going to show you the best commands of AutoCAD which definitely helps you to be more productive and also save you lots of time. Okay, so let's get started. The very first command is to fillet multiple times. Here you can see I have a rectangle type 7. I want to uh, fillet the all the corner. Okay, so I am using here the fillet and uh, and then fillet the corner. Okay, uh, each time for each corner I have to, uh, you know, uh, enter the fillet command but uh, here is the option for multiple times also okay so you just have to uh, turn on the fillet command and here you can see at bottom the multiple option or you can type just m and enter okay i am using m and enter and now you can use uh, fillet, fillet for multiple times now you don't have to uh, you know uh, turn on the command for each time each corner okay so this is very uh, a productive way to do uh, such a type of work okay now and now the next one the next one is for the dimension okay for example if you want to uh, if you want to send any dimension in specific layer okay uh, whenever you draw so for example uh, if you have uh, let me show you here you can see uh, the I have a dimension layer okay now if I want to send the, the old dimension in the specific dimension layer so how I can do so okay here uh, the here's a way whenever I draw a dimension it automatically you know uh, assigned to the a dimension layer okay here for let me show you first of all you just have to type a dimension and then draw a dimension here and here you can see the currently the dimension is actually assigning in the specific dimension layer okay how do you do do that okay you just have to uh, turn on the dimension layer and here you can see at bottom the layer option just click on layer and type a specific layer name or you can select object in which you want to send the dimension for example the line you can see the line this line is actually in the zero layer if i select the zero then uh, the dimension is automatically draws on a zero layer but here you can see uh, if you can also type a name of the layer also so this is very productive way to send uh, uh, each dimension in a specific layer okay now the uh, next one is uh, uh, using uh, f8 okay now you, you know f8 the ortho mode okay uh, whenever you have to draw a line which is a straight you can, you can see i i i personally use the ortho on mode but i whenever i have to draw a line which is uh, not perpendicular or parallel to someone what i have to do i just have to press the shift and i can uh, draw a line like that okay you don't have to uh, uh, turn on and off for f8 often okay so this is uh, not the right way i think so okay, this is very useful to uh, using a shift button okay for uh, deviate the line this is i think a best way now the next one is the ops command okay how you can use the ops command okay uh, for example if i delete this one okay and uh, and then i make some work here okay for example if i draw a rectangle here and then something line here okay and now what if i want to get this uh, deleted object again uh, back okay so what you have to do if you use undo tool then your all work uh, you know all work gone also okay so what you can do you just have to use ops command okay o, -O p s and then press enter and you can get back this deleted object Okay, now the next one is uh, a switch between drawings. Here you can see I have actually three drawings open. Okay, what I have to, you know, switch between drawings. The best way to switch is the control tab. You can use control tab for forward and control shift tab for backward. This is best way, I think, to switch between drawings. And whenever you have to work uh, uh, with different drawings, this is, I think, best way. Okay, now the next one is uh, to use a break command. Uh, here you can see let me show you the break command uh, you, uh, by using break command uh, uh, you can break a line in a two segment okay so what you have to do is you have to type a break command and then you just select first point and then another and you can see you can break line by that way this is I think very useful uh, sometimes now the next one is uh, to use a quick selection tool okay let me first of all select all the object and then uh, type QSE okay and here you can see the quick select window is uh, open and here you can uh, select object by its uh, property by its color or by various types here you can see first of all uh, uh, on which uh, area you want to apply you want to apply entire drawing or uh, current selection you can also use uh, this tool to select object let me use this one also 
okay and uh, now here you can see you select object which type of object you want to select if you want to select line polyline dimension uh, m text circle okay if you want to choose multiple on a specific layer you can use this one let me first of all select the line or let me select the special circle okay a uh, circle which is uh, which is on which which is on specific layer you can use the layer also you can see here okay so you can use by line type also you can use line scale and there are number of properties which which you can use for a specific object here you can see this object is actually a circle okay so let me uh, uh, select by color and let me select by green because i have here a green circle okay so I just include you can if you want to include this object so you have to just select this one and if you want to exclude this object you can select this one okay i want to include so i'm gonna choose this one and okay and now you can see the only circle is get selected okay whenever you have a multiple type time uh, types of circle for example 200 times 300 times then this is the best way to select a specific object okay you can use uh, uh, various properties okay this, this is the best way to select a specific object okay now the uh, next one is uh, to use the right click okay okay whenever you press and hold the shift button and press a right click here you can see the number of other options also available okay you can uh, select uh, a mid between two points uh, specific end point midpoint intersection uh, apparent in intersect and there are number of other option also you can also turn off the uh, snap tool for a while okay so you can use this old tool okay this is also a very uh, a productive way okay to uh, you know drafting now the next command is a boundary and a join the both command uh, looks quite similar but uh, there is a little difference between them you can see the uh, these are the old line okay and uh, if I want to convert this all line segment in, into one single polyline I can use a boundary and the join command also the boundary is what you just have to uh, uh, enter boundary and you just have to pick, uh, sorry, pick a point inside the uh, object and then press enter and here you can see now the another new polyline is drawn okay so this is a polyline and this other line segment is and if you use a join command you just have to select the all the line segment and then uh, type j for the shortcut join and you can see the object is actually joined okay so little difference between boundary and join now the uh, next one is the list command okay if you want to find out area or perimeter or something uh, another data for uh, object then what you have to do for example if i want to find out the area of this random object okay i can use this tool okay but uh, this is uh, quite uh, you know uh, annoying also okay but uh, uh, rather i can use uh, the list command also okay and this is the area of this object and i can use a list command i just have to select and then press li for the shortcut list and then press enter Here you can see the area the perimeter and the coordinates of the point also so this is i think a better way to find out area of some sometimes uh, this uh, random type of shape now the next command is uh, mirroring of text okay let me uh, show you how it works let me first of all mirror this text here okay here you can see uh, by using this command the text is actually get mirrored and uh, now can't readable okay so how you can use the mirror command but text is as well where where it is in the uh, source object okay so here is a command let me first of all delete this one and the command is actually m i r r t x t which is a mirror text and uh, here you have to just enter the zero value instead of one okay and then press enter and then uh, select the text and then using mirror you can see the text is actually not get mirrored it just copy here okay this is very helpful sometimes whenever you have to put a uh, text uh, uh, on on another uh, side also okay the next one is uh, id command which uh, uh, which is very useful for finding coordinates of, of a specific object for example here I have this line and I want to find out the coordinate okay of, of specific point okay so the ID and then press enter and just select a point for example this end point you can see in the bottom command line you can see the X Y and Z 
uh, the three coordinates of specific point this is sometimes helpful maybe okay now another is a break line whenever you have to draw a break line you you, you don't have to draw manually here is an option for a break line let me show you the break line and then press enter and then select end point and another end point and then center you can see the break line is here you can use break line for uh, a number of uh, types work okay now another is a control Q if you want to quit this drawing okay you can use control Q okay this is actually uh, works whenever you click on this one okay so this is I think very uh, sometimes useful another is allies editor here in you can uh, here you can use allies editor also in express tool you can use a tool and then command allies editor and uh, here you can add uh, uh, allies to a specific autocad command okay uh, here you can see i am using this basic uh, three which is a, a dimension align another is ops and another you can see here a past space uh, this is uh, very useful yeah, if I, if you use uh, sometimes a uh, uh, command uh, more often okay you can use specific allies here you can see i using dimension more often so i as so i assign one for the dimension you can how to assign okay so you just have to add here and then uh, type allies for example one and then you have to type uh, a command here for example uh, if you want to uh, i think uh, line uh, uh, quick selection so you have to type q s e quick select okay so you can if press ok then it automatically uh, assign to one but i have actually uh, assigned one so i don't want to assign this one because okay, so this is the best way to use allies and you can use you definitely become more productive by using this type of allies okay let me close you and let me show you for example whenever you, i press one you can see the dimension line let's have to press and then press again and this is the best way okay to to assign a dimension okay now the uh, next one is a uh, layer walk which is definitely helps you okay to uh, see a layer let me type layer walk okay here you can see uh, the dimension in which layer the specific types in in which layer the objects actually are you can see uh, the object in zero layer you can see the object in dimension layer you can see the object in text layer this is sometimes maybe uh, useful okay now the next and last one is to use a save all on the drawing and close all the you can use a save all okay and now your old drawings are automatically get saved and you can close all also okay you can see all drawings automatically close this is the best way to use i think uh, Okay guys, thanks for watching this video and subscribe my channel to watch more videos. Thank you. Thank you very much.